In this video, I go over some of the costs for 3D printing your minis and terrain. Hi everyone, Danny, the 3D Printing DM here. Thank you for joining me today at 3D Printed Tabletop. I decided to step out of the dungeon today and try something new today. Hope you like it. Uh, I know it's a little more boring, but I like the light. <laughs> one, of, one of the most common questions uh, asked by someone who is interested or new to 3D printing is, how much does a mini like this or a mini like this or, or a dungeon tile or, or a piece of terrain, how much does it cost? And it's a good question because, you know, we're investing a lot of money in a printer. And so it only makes sense to want to see how much filament costs, which is are going to be our main expense. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about how much these cost, And uh, I'm going to teach you how to figure it out on your own so that you can see how much you're spending or how much it would cost to make a specific dungeon set or to make a specific uh, group of terrain or whatever you want to do. But I want you to know how much it's going to cost because a cost can add up. So it, a word of caution. Before we begin, please, 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 please do not use this video to go to a 3D printing service and say, But they said this tile costs 20 or 40 cents. Why are you charging me $3 for a single tile? 3D printing services, they're a whole other beast, okay? And there are a whole bunch of, of costs that I'm, I'm not including in this video because we're talking about home printing. That's what this channel is about, is home printing, not commercial, not starting your own print farm. And so much goes in a price, you know, a 3D printing service like this, that even in, even in a basement operation, so licensing fees, you know, the quality of the product, how long it's taken, cost of time and labor, and even without expense like overhead, even if you factor in a little bit of profit, not to mention the expertise of that company or the individual, who's providing that service. And you know, it's like you wouldn't go to a graphic designer and say, that only took you 10 minutes. So why are you charging me 400 bucks? That's, that doesn't make sense. Uh, it doesn't make sense to go to your printer and say, dude, you press the button, then like the two minutes of cleanup, what the? So to just make sure that this horse is dead. In one of the other videos in this place, I spent 10 minutes talking about work involved in getting prints to high quality and how a lot of people don't do that because it's hard and you have to develop these certain skills in order to do that. And that's why 3D printing services exist to be frank. So don't use this video as a haggling tool, please. End rant. So how to calculate costs. You calculate costs by, by going into your slicer, like Simplify 3D or Cura and slicing the file. Then you look at how many grams of material are being used and then you do some basic math, you know, divide the grams of material by 1000 grams or whatever spool size you're using. And uh, then you multiply by how much the filament, how much the roll of filament costs. And so if you're printing with supports, just be sure to turn those on when you calculate the cost because it adds up big time, especially for bigger prints. In general, I look at a, at a range of costs when I'm doing this type of presentation because you can buy PLA rolls for as cheap as $15 or as high as you know, 28 and even more than that, right? But we're gonna round down to $25. I'm using Inland as my kind of baseline for the for the cheap support. It's a popular cheap brand. People love it. I'm using Hatchbox as my high-end tier brand of filament that people love. There's higher rolls of Hatchbox and lower rolls of Hatchbox. Some are 22, 23, others are 28, 29. So I'm meeting down in the middle around 25. That's why that's my number. I personally use something in between, a brand called Tiance. Uh, costs about $18 a roll. That's what I made these with. It's the same type of principle to figure out how much a resin print costs, only instead of working with a kilogram or grams, you're working with liters. One liter of resin will cost you anywhere from $60 to $90, depending on what brand you use. In theory, you should be able to just look at the raw grams and convert them to, to, to liters like you would FDM. But 3D printing resin is more of a process than FDM printing. FDM printers literally do everything except scrape the print off at the end. With resin, the yield is different. And sometimes printing with resin isn't an exact science. And so, you know, there's actual yield and print efficiency because it depends on things like how much resin is left on the mini, any accidental UV curing that might happen. You know, whether you drain your minis or not, 
that's not even accounting for failed prints, which are a lot more expensive with resin than with than with an FDM print. So what I did, I don't have a resin printer. So I spoke with three different people who who do have resin printers, and I asked them how much a 28 millimeter mini cost. The number that they gave me varied wildly, got a range anywhere from 15 cents to one dollar and 75 cents. A wild range, I know. But this means that resin's on average anywhere from anywhere from five times to 30 times the cost of a PLA a PLA filament print. That is based on an admittedly small sample size. If anything, we know that the math for a resin print calculation isn't always gonna be as simple, at least until you do this a lot and you have some concrete numbers or experiment data or whatever you wanna use. But even with my sample size of three, which isn't exactly representative, right? And I'm sure there's gonna be those people that are getting almost perfect yield and like, oh, get good. But, you know, I trust the people that I asked. They've all had their resin printers for a while. Some have the Photon, some have the D7. And none of these people are 3D printing newbies. So add to the fact that their yield results are wildly different. It's at least indicative that process is so important with getting the most of your resin and lowering your cost for your prints when you're printing a resin print. You know, you need to have it down pat in order to save that money. So take take my resin costs in this in this video with a grain of salt i'm doing the best with what i can and i'm working with uh, the least reliable data set that i have access to for this video I am however very confident with my pla numbers uh, that's months and months of me printing and i'm confident in the general ranges i'm just going to be calculating resin costs using a simple formula i'm going to be conservative and say that the resin will be five to 15 times more expensive than, than PLA. So when I show PLA, that's how I'm getting my resin cost. Now let's get to the actual cost. Probably the most popular style of terrain that new folks print are, are dungeon tiles, right? I like Dwarven Forge on the expensive scale or uh, DM Scotty, Black Magic Craft and Wylox Crafting vids on the cheap, right? This uh, single piece of two by two dungeon tile with both the wall and the tile will cost anywhere from 20 cents to 40 cents. So you can get an idea of, the, of what a small set of this would look like and cost. I've loaded this set of tiles into my slicer and this set is just a bit more in actual terrain pieces than the unpainted Jorvan Forge set that um, equivalent of it. It comes out to about 566 grams of filament and will cost me anywhere from $8.50 to $14.17. For those curious how long this would take, this whole set fit within my CR10 build plate. And even though it says 60 hours due to travel time of the nozzle, uh, it would probably take somewhere around 80 hours of straight nonstop printing time. And this is also why a bigger build volume can come in handy because all these files in a single print instead of a bunch of smaller prints that I have to go back and forth and and prep it and then put it in or just prep it all before and then every single time it finishes, scrape it off and then put it on. It, it can be a lot of extra small tedium that adds up over time and can be kind of annoying. When you compare it with Jorvan Forge and a few of the other competitors that I'm showing on screen, you can see why even a $200 printer can, can pretty quickly pay for itself after just a single mega dungeon. This is the future, people. It's amazing. Being being conservative, like I mentioned, uh, this tile will probably cost somewhere between a dollar to three dollars. Either way, <sighs> yikes. It's pretty expensive when you compare to the 20 cents, right? Buildings are also pretty popular. Uh, this three level building that you see here is the Abbott House from the Whitewood Abbey Kickstarter. Still live as of the release of this video, if you're still interested. Uh, it cost me between $8.74 and $13.24 to print. I used $18 filament, so in reality, it came out to about $10 for me. It took me about 60 hours total to print since I since I printed each level separately. Uh, in resin, it would have cost me $43.70 at the five times mark. I am not even gonna go to the 15 times mark with this one. It would be way too expensive and way too cost prohibitive. You can buy resin cast 28 millimeter scale terrain for about the same price. So, I mean, you could in theory print these in resin if you really like, if you really like the models and you want this extremely high fidelity. 
But for me personally, the cost savings of the PLA is very attractive and the trade-off of quality isn't too bad for me. I am totally comfortable dropping this on my table. Minis. So these 20 millimeter minis, this is, uh, this is a little monk modeled by Miguel Zavala. This guy cost me between three cents and six cents, depending on what filament you use. Took me somewhere between one to two hours to print. In resin, this would cost me anywhere from 15 cents to $1.80. But the real advantage to FDM or resin with printing minis, at least for D&D and uh, Pathfinder, is the ability to print any one of those, those one-off monsters that are that's coming up in a module that costs maybe $4 online or, or more in some cases, not even including shipping, but you only want to use it like once or twice. And so it's difficult to, to feel worth doing that, but you can print a d decent mini for that. And you just load it up and within one or two hours, you boom, you have your mini and you just paint it up ready for the table for the next night. Great for DMs like me who can't make up their mind about what their players are gonna face or have a couple of different options for things like this. With bigger minis like uh, Miguel Zavala's Dragon, uh, with supports and a raft, total cost on this filament was two dollars and seventy-nine cents to four dollars and sixty-five cents. So between about three to five dollars. For resin, this would cost thirteen dollars and ninety-five cents or eighty-nine dollars and seventy-five cents. So if you're able to get good yield with the res with with your resin, that is still a pretty good price for a mini of this scale. Pre-painted dragons at Michaels. Are, are more expensive than, than this in that at that cost. The Dragon took close to 30 hours for me to print when I printed it. So that is the long-winded answer to how much it costs to print your average minis and terrain pieces. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more, please like and subscribe and remember to hit that little bell if you do. If you're interested in trying out some of the filament brands that I brought up here, I have included some affiliate links down below, which is a great zero cost way for you to support this channel and to keep or start 3D printing for your tabletop. Once again, thanks for being here and happy printing.